Okay, hey guys! I am Katie, or KB Does Art, and today we're going to be making a door. So let's go ahead and grab a sphere. We're gonna make it probably 10 wide, and then like maybe 40 or 35. Actually, Let's do let's do three by seven. And then the depth only needs to be like point five or maybe even smaller. Point three. That should be good. All right, go ahead and make your divisions double whatever you have for your width and height. So I'm gonna do a six by 14 and then one on the side is okay. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is actually make a door frame. So go ahead and grab another sphere, do the exact same divisions. So I did three by seven by 0.3. And then I'm actually gonna make this like point. Point five, just so it's a bit thicker. Okay. And then go ahead and go to face mode and delete these faces. And then I'm just gonna go to object mode and scale it up just a smidge. I wanna be able to kind of see it in the space. All right, looks pretty good. And then go ahead and extrude that guy. And you're gonna hold control and up your thickness to, let's say, 0.2. Should be good for our door frame. And then I'm going to actually just delete um, these bottom faces. And then go ahead and select this edge and do mesh fill hole. Same with this guy. And then I'm gonna select this face here and I'm just gonna rotate it until it looks like it gets pretty flat. And then go ahead and extrude that guy. And then you can bring it out and rotate it and just move it until it looks like it's sitting on, you know, the ground. can just achieve that by, um, you know, scaling it in. All right. The leg. There we go. And then let's do the same for this side. So select the face, extrude it, and then you can scale it in a bit and then just bring it down and rotate it so that it fits with those guys. All right, so that is the basics of our door. Um, what we need to do next is kind of like make the uh, stereotypical designs that you find in a door. 
And I'm going to do that by um, using these faces and we'll like extrude and offset them. So go into face mode, go and select those faces, select the same faces on the back. And then I'm just going to do this once for you, and then you can do it on the rest of them. You know, however you feel is good for you. So go ahead and extrude first. Then hold control and offset it in. Maybe like 0.05. And then at that point, go ahead and just press, uh, go ahead and extrude. And you want to push that thickness into the mesh. Probably only like 0.05. And then go ahead and extrude and offset again. This time we're going to go into like 0.2. And then you want to go ahead and extrude that guy and up the thickness this time to 0.05. All right, so um, next you can just click R and scale those guys in. And then I want you to do the same thing for this ring. You can just scale those guys in like that. All right, so that's kind of the basics of, you know, offsetting one of those guys. So you're going to do the same thing. There should be one right here and maybe like skip one um, or maybe like skip it like that and then do this one right here and then just do it on both sides. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go through and do that super quickly, um, so feel free to pause this and do it yourself. Alright, so that is basically um, a door. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to select all these faces and then I'm gonna basically oh go ahead and select this object and then go ahead and scale it a little bit up I want my door to be a little bit wider I think then you can scale your frame up as well All right, so that is basically our door. So really the next part is just to make our handle. So um, in order to do that, um, I'm going to make, let's see, I can do a cylinder first and then add spheres on the side if I wanna make it like a normal door. Okay, let's do that. So go ahead and grab a sphere. Let's scale that guy down to be the size of our handle and then push him over just to where you think a handle would be. Usually about halfway, so maybe right there would be good. Make sure it pokes out on both sides. We want to be able to see it. You can scale it up too if you need it to poke out a little bit more. And then uh, from here, make a cylinder. Let's rotate that guy 90 degrees on the x-axis. Scale that guy down a whole bunch. You want it to be small enough to fit inside the center of this handle over here. It's going to be where like the handle basically attaches. So um, you can scale that up so that it peeks through. All right, mine's a little too wide, so you can Scale it in, then I'm going to scale it down. All right, that looks pretty good. And then just try and center it to the best of your ability. That looks pretty good. All right, and so then Go ahead and grab a sphere. I'm going to kind of scale this guy a little oddly, so just stick with me. 
basically it's going to end up being the handle that goes on that side. And then I'm going to grab this edge all the way around and just scale it in kind of like that. And then you can, you know, scale the whole object a little bit smaller to fit on top of this guy. You want them to intersect, so try and get that to the best of your ability. Maybe like that. And then... Um, you can duplicate that and then push it to the other side and connect it with this guy for that handle. All right, so um, that is our door. If you want to, you can add little hinges on this side. Um, you can do that just by adding like very small cylinders and then connecting them into the side. Kind of something like this almost. You can make it a bit smaller. That's at least how I would do it, is just really quickly going through and adding um, just small cylinders like that. So if you want to do that, you can just duplicate that and, you know, move one up to the top, probably around like there, and then move one down to the bottom, probably maybe like there. Let's move this hinge to be like equal with that door handle. And then you would just have to duplicate that and pull it through to the other side so that it's still intersecting all of those guys and then just duplicate it and push it up and duplicate it and press it down like that and then to try and make them as even as possible I'm just gonna put mine about halfway through those squares um, that way they kind of match up but yeah and then if you want to you can go in and select all of the objects and combine them um, I think I'm going to leave mine separated so that I can texture them all differently, but it's really up to you. So um, I hope you like this tutorial, and um, I'll see you guys next time for when we are creating um, some other cool house objects. Bye, guys!